Hello again, my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance personnel. Your host is always Haysam Ali, and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Welcome to my aviation nuggets for today. In this short minutes, we will speak about the Airbus A320 family fuel system, aircraft fuel system. Okay, so as you can see here, everybody, that the fuel is stored in five tanks, a center tank, and a left tank and a right tank okay left and right wing tanks are divided into inner cell and outer cell inner cell and outer cell so we have a five main tanks the bigger one is the center tank then the inner cells then the outer cells okay i need to tell you that there is no direct supply for uh, for fuel from the outer cell. Direct supply of fuel may be from the center tank or the inner cells because the booster pump or electric booster pump that supply fuel to the engine are located in the center tank and into the inner cells and into the inner cells. Okay. So this design, everybody, which do have six booster bump, one, two, three, four, five, six, are the old design or the starting design for booster bump for the A320 family. Okay. I need to tell you that in the Airbus A321, Airbus elected to remove the center tank bump from the center tank and replace the center tank electric bump by a center tank transfer system into the right and into the left tank. So in, so in the Airbus A321 or in the new design that available now in the classic engine option aircraft or the new, we only have four booster bump. Why Airbus? remove the center tank electric bump this is for fuel tank safety uh, regulation or to increase the safety into the center tank to remove any electric component from the center tank that may do make an ignition inside the center tank because the center tank are the first tank to be emptied during flight and have the heat source underneath the center tank that may allow the fuel into the center tank to reach the flammable temperature or flammable temperature can be reached easily in the center tank so if any ignition happen into the center tank uh, regretfully it may ignite or it may explode okay so airbus remove the center tank electric bump from the center tank into the new design or now in the a320 family we have the center tank transfer system which replaces the center tank electric bump okay everybody so uh, as you can see here fuel is supplied to engine one engine two and the abu and this fuel supply design is divided into two design or two sides, left side and right side, thanks to the cross feed valve, which is normally closed, which is normally closed. So that left engine will be supplied by this set of bumps and right engine will be supplied by this set of bumps, the three on the right and the three on the left. Also, the ABU will be supplied by the left-hand side supply lines or from the left-hand side. Okay. You can read here to reduce the structural load on the wing. The fuel in the outer cell is not used until the fuel load in the inner cells decrease to a low level. Yes. Fuel consumption. Fuel consumption is from the root to the tip so we need the fuel from the center tank to be embedded first then the inner cells then the outer cells this is 
during fuel consumption. This is why to reduce structural load on the wing and to, to reduce the bending moment on the root of the wing so that we have a heavy, a heavy wing tip. A heavy wing tip because if we keep fuel always into the outer cell so the fluttering will be decreased and we have a heavy wing tip and now the bending moment onto uh, on the root of the wing will be uh, small or will be decrease okay so fuel consumption keep in mind that fuel consumption is from the root to the tip from the root to the tip but fuel uh, uh, adding or refuel operation it starts from the tip to the root so during refuel we assure that the outer cell is full first then inner cell then the center tank so yes some flights will commence without fuel into the center tank okay Actually, in the Airbus A320 family, we have three refuel valve. One refuel valve ensure fuel supply into the center tank, and other two refuel valve, one for the right wing and one for the left wing. And actually, the refuel valve of the wing supply fuel into the outer cell. Only when the outer cell is full, fuel will spill from the outer cell into the inner cell thanks to the a spill pipe between the outer cell and the inner cell. Okay, so actually the refuel valve for the wing tank supply fuel to the outer cell. Supply fuel to the outer cell. Okay, what is this component? This is an inner cell transfer valve inter cell transfer valve connecting the outer cell into the inner cell only when the inner cell fuel quantity coming to a low level one inter cell transfer valve will open here and the other will open here okay so that the fuel from the outer cell will go by gravity into the inner cell thanks to the intercell transfer valve intercell transfer valve this is the low pressure fuel valve for the left engine this is the low pressure fuel valve for the right engine this is the low pressure fuel valve for the abu low pressure fuel valve will shut down with the master lever off and will open with master lever on open with master lever on okay everybody thank you for your good listening thank you always for your good listening and always fly safely and maintain your aircraft very safely this is not a formal training it is a performance support tool to refresh your knowledge regarding aircraft fuel system aircraft fuel system so this is not a formal training it is a performance support tool Always consult your formal manual for formal knowledge. And from Cairo, Egypt, your host was Haysam Ali, and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Please stay tuned for an upcoming sessions like this. Thank you, have a good day, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.